Okay, so first instructional video thing here. And I've decided to do <coughs> a thing that I use loads at the moment. Um, just going to cover this thing. It's called Doc Spaces. Now, um, Doc Spaces, what is Doc Spaces? Well, it is basically a client that enables everyone on Mac OS when they download it to uh, have uh, different docs for different purposes. So you see this one down here. Obviously, that's the how most people's docs look on Mac OS. Uh, down the bottom of the screen, the center, and I've just obviously got my favorite icons in here. Um, but as we got up here to the um, dock spaces icon you can see that I've got all of these down here there's one for my everyday use which I can also trigger if I, I've set it up in the preferences so that I can uh, trigger it by hitting alt or option and one or if I hit option and two I get my dock for making music and I've just recently added um, one for when I do my YouTube editing for all you beautiful people. Uh, right, so let me just show you this in action. So if I, um, I can, as I said, I can either go access this menu up here from the from the uh, taskbar at the top here and uh, click on here, making music, or I can just press option and two, and it comes up with a little ground message at the top right of the screen as you'll see there and I've actually set this up to hide in the corner and you can see that this is armed for me um, when I'm uh, composing and making music as I explained that I do in the previous intro video so I've got um, it's a 2D doc it's on the right of the screen and I've got GarageBand, iTunes for, for dragging in files Logic Pro which is a incredibly powerful program for working with audio and recording music and stuff for a reason which is a similar thing just a bit more dancey orientated is how I explain it to people Ableton Live which is a bit more of a, of a live platform but as I said I'll go on to explain what all these individually do in a later video BeatStation which is another plugin um, but the point of this video is that I can switch between uh, docs um, to have them built for custom purposes and um, you can set one of these up by as I've said going to the um, taskbar and hitting preferences or command comma and I'll just hit preferences here and you can see that if I go to the docs tab up here um, yes thank you I've got all my different docs here and if I wanted to create a new one just hit the plus button and I can rename it and you see it's come up with it because I've set it up to come up with a custom sorry with a with a, with a default doc every time I create a new one so if I want to rename it here it's just called new doc 4 at the moment I just hit the return key like you do in all of OS and and rename whatever I'm not gonna, not gonna keep it and if you want to delete it make a mistake just press uh, the minus key, but that's an interesting thing to note. I didn't know that you can't um, delete a doc that's in use. So if you want to delete one, I guess you'd have to um, go back here, hit Alt 2, for example, go back to preferences, like so, and then. And then and then delete this this one here. So a bit of an involved process, but I doubt you'd ever create one by mistake anyway. Yep. So uh, gonna keep, try and keep this as short as possible anyway, just to show you that this is a really cool thing. The the and it's free, completely free. The the easiest way to probably get your hands on this is just to Google um, Doc Spaces. Really cool client, especially if you're into video editing, music editing like me. You can have um, all your different uh, different docs um, where you can activate them on one screen um, 
And I'm not going to go into all the features of it, but you, I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy to work out. If you want me to, then just message me, and I will we'll probably do another video where I go into it in more depth. Uh, but for now, um, that's Dock Spaces. I uh, hope that's of some use to you. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, please subscribe. Cheers. One thing I just forgot to mention in that video. Um, if uh, you would like to comment on any of the videos, or you have any ideas or questions, uh, then just stick a comment below one of the videos or on the channel, and I'll be happy to to get back to you and build up a dialogue with the uh, people out there. So yeah, uh, just leave a comment, and um, I'll see if I can help you out. Cheers.